hello friends in this video we are going to discuss about history of forensic science the history of forensic science begins with the doctor doctor paul kirk doctor paul kirk was a chemist and forensic scientist he held a phd in biochemistry from the university of california he started his career at berkeley in the biochemistry department and become interested in forensic science when authorities asked him to examine evidence from the rape case because of his interest and experience in microscopy he was asked to head up the new criminology program in 1937 he subsequently worked as a microscopist 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 on the various project where he helped isolate fissionable material for making bombs in 1946 he returned to and headed up the technical criminology major program and served as a head of criminalistics department in the case dr sa Shefald was falsely accused of murdering his wife. He escaped from custody and helped the police find the one armed man who committed the crime. In case this case was the basis for the fugitive a book TV show and movie Kirk examined bloodstain pattern from the scene and his subsequent report and testimony at the second trial held free shepherd today Kirk's legacy live on in the Paul Kirk award the highest award given by the criminologist section of american academy of forensic science as in many other field of knowledge the chinese were first to discover the value of forensic science in identification there were the first to use fingerprint to identify the owner of objects and such portrait but had no formal classification process in later centuries a number of scientists such as marcello malfinghi noted the presence of fingerprint and that they had interesting characteristics but didn't make any connection to personal identification the first person to recognize that recognize that fingerprint could be classified into nine major types was jan purkinje a professor of anatomy in 1880 a scottish physician named henry fold published an article in the journal nature that suggested that the uniqueness of fingerprint could be used to identify someone this was quickly followed 
in 1890s by Francis Galton who published the first book on fingerprint John Juan Wenstick who develop a fingerprint classification system that is still used today in South America and Sir Edward Henry who develop the fingerprint classification system that has been adopted in United States and Europe The first detective force was developed in France. The Surete of Paris by Eugène Vedoco Vedic in 1810. In 1905, President Teddy Roosevelt established the FBI, but the FBI lab was not established until 1932. The first crime laboratory was established in France in 1910 by Edmund Lockhart. A professor of forensic medicine he later enpows his famous local exchange principle which will be discussed in next lecture. In the United States, the first crime laboratory was established by August Olmer, chief of police in Los Angeles. The first journal devoted to Forensic science was begun by Calvin Goddard and his staff in 1930 at the newly formed Scientific Crime Detection Laboratory on the campus of Northwestern University. In 1937, Paul Kirk established the first university based forensic science program at the University of California. It was called Technical Criminology. In 1948, the American Academy of Forensic Science was founded in Chicago. The American Academy of Forensic Science is the largest forensic science society in the world and has members from many different countries. The Academy began publication of the Journal of Forensic Science, the professional journal of forensic science shortly after AAFS was founded. The realization that blood and bloody fluid had the potential for being human evidence in criminal investigation. Is an old idea. Bloody palm print were used as evidence more than a thousand years ago in Rome. In 1853, Tachemen developed the first of a number of crystalline tastes still used today in the characterization of blood. His taste detected the presence of hemoglobin. The German scientist Sean Bain developed the first prism to test for blood. It takes advantage of the ability of hydrogen peroxide to react with hemoglobin. This was in 1863. 
in 1900 kerala steiner made major breakthrough in the analysis of blood when he determined that there are actually four type of human blood this become the basis for the abo typing system and set the stage for all further work in serology landsteiner won the nobel prize for his work in 1930 max richter took landsteiner result and adapted them to blood stain such as those found in crime scene 15 year later leone latis a professor in italy developed a test to determine blood type in abo system and wrote a book about how to type dried stain there were a number of advances over the next 30 year cumulating in the work of sir alec jeffrey of the university of leicester in 1984 jeffrey used a technique called dna fingerprinting to solve a double murder case in england the first case solved by dna analysis a year before call mullis carly mullis developed a polymerase chain reaction which is the basis for all dna typing in forensic cases today he also won nobel prize for his work thank you dear learner